Are you looking for a solid move and click mouse? Well, today we're talking about the Kensington Trackball. Hi, my name is Brent, and if you're new to this channel, today we're doing a simple review of the Kensington Expert Trackball. I'm going to be talking about the build quality, also the ease of use, as well as some other pros and cons that you'll run into if you decide to purchase this. So I ask that you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to receive more information on computer products, get reviews on things such as this trackball. So there are not really a lot of reviews on this trackball, but I wanted to give you some insight as to how I use it and my workflow and how it helps me with everyday tasks. So I went back and forth in regards to purchasing. It took me a long time to actually go ahead and purchase this. I was pretty efficient with my normal mouse. You know, Apple has just one click. I was able to get through all my shortcuts. Didn't really see the need to purchase another trackball, but I'm gonna to talk to you today about things we don't tend to think about when it comes to this particular product. What we don't think about is there are certain shortcuts that commands would be beneficial for us to already have pre-programmed into our software. Rather than having to choose these commands from your menu or your toolbar, you can just have them already integrated with your trackball. So we also don't think about desk space and how much desk space you need to be able to maneuver your mouse. Many of us have certain accessories that take up our desk space. With the expert trackball, the ball itself activates the mouse. So the Kensington trackball has a detachable ball that is placed in the middle of it. It also has a scroll ring that you're able to scroll up and down. And it has four different point clicks on the mouse pad itself. While you're using your normal mouse, literally you can get carpal tunnel very easily. It's, it's very common with the normal mouse or the regular mouse. I wanna give you an example of the ease of use. So normal situations, I was trying to get my mouse. Let's see if I can get it. In normal situations with your normal mouse, you're using your pointer finger to click. With the Kensington Expert, I'm actually using my middle finger to, to click. And my thumb, both my thumb and my pointer finger, I'm using to scroll, scroll with the ball. It's a little bit of a change from the normal, but I've gotten used to it. With the Expert Trackball, the movement is in your fingers and not necessarily your wrist. It gives your wrist a break from that normal mouse movement. The Trackball also uses a USB receiver that you can hook up to the back of your computer. You just hook it up into the back port and it acts as a receiver to your computer to be able to communicate with your computer and your mouse. I've had the Trackball for about six months and I've yet to change my AA batteries. Let me show you it right here. It's detachable and inside is a little sensor piece. You have your scroll bar. That scrolls back and forth. You got two, four, or four rather, four points of clicks. Shortcuts that you can use. You can use those as shortcuts. And then you also have a rest that's detachable. You just attach it or attach it back for your wrist. I like it. It's a comfortable, it's a comfortable setup. So one thing I want to add is I use dual screens, which are two monitors side by side. And when I'm working throughout my programs, I have one monitor that is up and the other monitor, I wanna scroll from one monitor to the other monitor. That trackball gets me there within an instant. If I'm using a regular mouse, of course I have to drag the entire mouse to get the cursor from one screen to the next. Instead of having to move my entire hand, I just, with the flick of my thumb or my pointing finger, the cursor moves from screen to screen. So let's talk about a few problems that I ran into and I had to overcome with the expert trackball. Take some time with this trackball when you first get it. Don't try to use it in your everyday workflow, but give it some time, practice with it, practice with the ball, the movement, so that you can get used to the functionality. This is something that I did not do, but you wanna be able to be efficient and have the speed. I will be honest, it was a bit of a learning curve for me. My normal mouse, I'm just used to and I don't like change. So getting this trackball in, it took me some time, probably about a month just to get used to it. So the other thing that's annoying to me is when I press down on it, it makes this annoying click sound. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it now, but it's just annoying. It's, it sounds really loud. When I first hooked this trackball up to my computer, I had to adjust the sensitivity to the cursor on how, the, how fast the mouse moves. It's very easy to adjust. Your expert comes free with software that you can 
download online. You can customize button functions and modify pointer settings. You can set specific commands for each button on this mouse. There are two top buttons and two lower buttons. What you wanna do is once you have downloaded the software, you wanna go into that software on your computer and then you wanna set your commands there. If you're concerned about the build quality of the Kensington Expert, it's pretty sturdy. It's not gonna move a lot while you're using it. The Kensington was built for both the left hand and the right hand. So it has an ambidextrous design. It's gonna take some getting used to, I'm telling you now, it's probably gonna take a while for you to get used to this trackball. The Kensington most certainly gives you a personalized experience, a more variety of functions that you can assign, makes it more personalized for your workflow. So we have the holidays that are coming up. This is a great gift. I recommend it for anyone who has a family member or friend. This expert trackball is for anyone who is using computers. It's a great gift for a good price. I do recommend this expert trackball.